Monday evening, there's a treat for stargazers as uh, two planets, Saturn and uh, Jupiter, will be the closest that they haven't been, have been in our lifetime, even though they are separated by uh, millions of miles. So you can look towards the southwest as you go through Monday evening. Now, what will the weather hold? Well, we have been seeing a few clouds and some showers today. Parts of uh, Trinidad did see some rainfall. In fact, uh, Pinal and Chatham saw over 10 millimeters of rain and we could be seeing a few more scattered showers uh, through the evening and possibly overnight as well but once we get into tomorrow we'll likely still see a bit of that cloud in this remaining and a scattering of showers still possible but for Tobago along the uh, northern areas you'll see a lot more clear skies for the first part of your night maybe a few brief showers are coming down towards that uh, southwestern coastline and uh, for Scarborough as well as Akinan you'll see a scattering of showers uh, throughout the afternoon as well now for southern and central areas of Trinidad we'll still see a lot of cloud in here still a scattering of showers as you go into the morning for those along the north coast of Trinidad there will be some sunshine around but once you get into the northern range and down towards that central areas you'll notice a lot of the cloudiness and again those showers are coming and going and there's a medium chance of a heavy shower or even a nice little thunderstorm as we go through the day as well and similar odds are there for that heavy shower or thunderstorm for those parts especially towards the uh, southeastern corner of the country and maybe one or two popping up towards San Fernando as well. Now temperature wise uh, tonight looking at a low of 23 degrees Celsius at Piarco, 24 degrees Celsius for Crown Point but tomorrow should be relatively comfortable with a high of 30 degrees Celsius so here maybe touching 32 in parts of Carney. Now through the rest of this week Wednesday and the Thursday still keeping conditions are slightly moist at least for Wednesday but it'll dry out quite nicely on a Thursday and a Friday just one or two brief showers there as we start into the weekend, still keeping our temperatures comfortable at 31 degrees Celsius by day and about 22 degrees Celsius by night. Now heading offshore, seas are still moderate choppy out there in the Caribbean, but we could be seeing occasional choppiness out in the Atlantic, all courtesy of these uh, north to northeasterly swells which will be coming through, as well as some fresh northeast to easterly winds. Up to 20 knots at times will bring some white caps as well as some sea spray. So be mindful about that if you're heading out. Now across the eastern Caribbean, we have been seeing a bit of that cloudiness, as we said, across the southern Windward Islands, but up towards the north in the Lesser Antilles, as well as for the Greater Antilles, it's been mostly settled, but we do see that line of cloud stretching from Cuba to the Bahamas that there is a cold front so behind it it will obviously feel cooler than usual along it there will be a few passing showers but most of those showers should actually skirt towards the north leaving the south around the Dominican Republic and Haiti as well as Jamaica only seeing one or two brief showers by the time they get to Thursday and Friday but for us here in Trinidad and Tobago we are switching from the wet to the dry season we'll continue that drying trend for the rest of December and then come January you'll notice some sunny spells but there will also be some showery days before we get fully emerged into the dry season once we get through February and into March. So that's your weather and that's it for me.